it isn't often that we talk like college football recruiting here on this show, at least from the perspective of one individual player. Now, what I always say is if there's an interesting story, an interesting narrative, whether it was Texas A&M in 2022, Alabama's historic class last year, Colorado, what they were doing part of the early season. Yeah, we'll discuss it. But I always like the the trends and the stories and the narratives more than I like talking about any individual player or commitment, because obviously in football, 85 guys on a roster, 11 guys on each side of the ball, the impact that one guy can have generally isn't very big. But that said, I do think there is a very interesting story developing kind of quietly behind the scenes. And it involves a player that we've actually talked about before on this channel, a kid by the name of Ryan Wingo, a five-star wide receiver out of the St. Louis area. Most believe him to be the top uncommitted player in high school football. And it's interesting. We talked about him probably about a month ago because uh, it was the week before the USC Colorado football game. There were whispers that Ryan, it wasn't even a whisper. It was a full-fledged report. Ryan Wingo was going to head out to Colorado uh, to take in the Colorado USC game. Now, it didn't end up happening, but at the time it was a big deal because Ryan Wingo from St. Louis, Missouri, was essentially down to Missouri and Texas. And it was like, here comes Coach Prime. Can he flip this kid? What does it mean? All that good stuff. So I bring it up because we have talked about him before, but why I'm talking about him today is for two reasons. One, we got ourselves an official commitment date for Ryan Wingo, this five-star wide receiver from St. Louis. He will commit next Wednesday, October 25th. Um, and why it's interesting, why I want to talk about it is because it appears as though he is going to make a relatively unconventional decision to commit to his home state, University of Missouri. What's especially interesting, he will be the second five-star in this class to potentially commit to Missouri. And if he does, it will be a shocking recruiting trend, a very interesting recruiting trend. And what did I say? I think it's always worth discussing interesting on this channel. Now, first of all, I think a lot of people would probably sit there and say, well, Torres, how are you so sure this kid's going to commit? But what I would say is like, sometimes you just got to follow the tea leaves, right? Um, one, it's been down to Texas and, and, and Missouri for a while. But two, over the last probably 24 hours before we got the announcement date, um, the crystal ball started rolling in from important places. First off, Steve Wiltfong, the best recruiting insider for my money in the business, 24-7 sports. He put in a crystal ball for, for Missouri. And then I thought this was interesting. A writer from a Texas website, Hank South, for Longhorns 24-7 or whatever it was, uh, great at what he does as well. He put in a crystal ball for Missouri as well. That's always when the red flag or the, the the light bulb goes off over my head. Because remember, a, 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 a guy covering a specific beat, a specific team, his job is to be positive. His job is to be optimistic. His job is to deliver positive news to his fan base, his readers, his subscribers, et cetera, or her subscribers, readers, et cetera. At the same time, when they put in the crystal ball, it tells the fan base, this ain't happening. And as somebody who's been in the media and, you know, on the phone, on the phone constantly with coaches and people of that magnitude, oftentimes that information comes straight from the coaching staff itself. In other words, the coaching staff knows they're not going to get the kid and essentially puts it, puts it out to the media. Hey, it ain't happening. Not for us. Put in that crystal ball. So that way our fans don't see him announce a commitment and get it or announce an announcement date and then get excited. So the fact that you had a crystal ball from a national insider, a crystal ball from a Texas insider, and then less than 24 hours later, he announces that he has a date when he'll commit. That means to me that all signs point towards the University of Missouri. What's especially interesting, though, is it's not just that we have this five-star kid from St. Louis committing to Missouri. It is that he is going to be the second five-star player in this class to commit to the Tigers. Williams Nwari, a five-star defensive lineman, in the summertime, it was in August because I was traveling. I remember when it happened. Uh, he was down to Oklahoma and Missouri. He's a big lineman from Lee Summit, Missouri. And back in August, he announced that he was going to commit to Missouri. And so if Ryan Wingo commits, how about this for the 24-7 sports, the top 10 players in high school football right now? Well, top five, as a matter of fact. If Ryan Wingo commits, one will be committed to Ohio State, two will be committed to Georgia, and two will be committed to Missouri. It's unbelievable. And to me, it's fascinating. And I think the next question most people want to know, why is this happening the way that it is? 
Thank you, everybody, as always, for your support of the Aaron Torres Pod and Aaron Torres Pod YouTube channel. And we have a major announcement as legal sports betting is now in the state of Kentucky. That is right. The Aaron Torres Pod and Aaron Torres Pod YouTube has partnered with DraftKings Sportsbook and the DraftKings Sportsbook app. And here is the best part. DraftKings has an incredible offer for listeners of the Aaron Torres Pod who are first-time customers with DraftKings. This is the deal. Here is what you need to know. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Bet $5 on any game, just $5, and you get $200 in bonus bets instantly when you use the promo code TORS. That's right. It's that simple. Again, first-time customers, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Bet $5 on any game, pro, college, any sport you want, and get $200 in bonus bets instantly when you use the code TORS. Thank you to our new partners, DraftKings Sportsbook. Thrilled to be working with them. Take advantage of their offer now. And so a couple of things stand out. One of them is a very interesting behind the scenes thing that I think is worth noting. First of all, I want to give Eli Drinkowitz credit, man. You know, listen, I've, I've been a critic of his. I haven't been sold on him. He's a little bit quirky. He's a little bit different. But this year, he's got a heck of a football team. Brady Cook is balling out. And Luther Burden, by the way, another former five star who committed a few months, uh, a few years ago, might be the best wide receiver in the SEC. You know, Malik Neighbors is up there. There's others. But Luther Burden's balling out. This offense is humming. And all of a sudden, Eli Drinkwitz has put together a team that makes it compelling for a guy like Ryan Wingo to come to school here. Beyond that, I would also say, you know, again, the winning stuff helps. I've all, I'll have say this about Drinkwitz, too. I have always liked his recruiting philosophy. When he took the Missouri job, a lot of people said, why would you take Missouri? It's a, you know, it's a tough place, not the easiest place to win. And he said from the beginning, I actually feel like it's the exact opposite. If you just go within driving distance of, of, of our campus in Columbia, Missouri, we're within six hours of St. Louis, Kansas City, Chicago, you know, believe it or not, Indianapolis is less than six hours. I mean, some major metropolitan areas, some major hotbeds for talent. So he's had the plan all along. And it is worth noting, there is one other thing that is helping Eli Drinkwitz put together this class. And we don't even have to, we don't even have to pretend like it isn't. And that's NIL. And, and it's not like a big secret, like, oh, NIL, what is Missouri doing? Does anyone else know the Missouri NIL laws? Remember, this is the big NIL thing, right? Is that every state has a little bit of a different rule. And that's why you see guys like Nick Saban, guys like John Calipari kind of campaigning with Congress is like, we need a national oversight of this because every state's got slightly different rules. Well, Missouri has maybe the most unique NIL rule going. Are you ready for this? Missouri, remember, the big debate now is NIL is legal in all 50 states, I believe, for, for college athletes. But there are a lot of states that do not allow NIL for high school athletes, okay? So Missouri's NIL law is this, is basically if you are a resident of Missouri, a high school athlete in Missouri, you can collect NIL as soon as you sign your letter of intent if you commit to a school in the state of Missouri. So for the for that school, it is such an advantage, I guess, in theory, for St. Louis University or other schools, wherever, it's an advantage as well. But it is a rule that is designed to help Missouri compete for the best players in their state and keep them home. Matter of fact, you can go and read when the law was put into place. The, 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 the politicians in Missouri, they didn't brag about it, but they were proud of it. Like, we're going to help our state school. This is going to help Coach Drinkowitz. This is going to help Dennis Gates in basketball. And so far, so good. And so these two kids, as soon as they sign in December, they can start doing NIL deals while they're still in high school. I don't know the numbers. Don't know the figures. Nobody does except for the players, their agents, and the collectives. But this is such a boon for Missouri. And now you look at them, they might end up with two of the top 10 players in all of high school football going to their school. So listen, is it going to be enough to compete with Georgia and Alabama next year? Probably not. Although some would argue they're in good position to compete with them this year. Obviously overall they're they're, they're I, I don't know what their uh, recruiting ranking will be once they get Ryan Wingo, but man, oh man, oh man, credit to Eli Drinkwitz. He's put a good product on the field. He's always had a great plan, even pre NIL, but he is very clearly taking advantage of this law and listen, as the old saying goes, donate the player, hate the game. 
Eli Drinkwitz, it looks like, is about to get his second five-star in this 2024 recruiting class. Ryan Wingo appears as though he is ready to commit. If you enjoyed this video, do me a quick favor. Make sure to subscribe to the Aaron Torres Pod YouTube channel. New episodes, full episodes of the Aaron Torres Pod drop every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, as well as a bunch of new clips.